Join me for Trash to Treasure Thursday this week as I show you how to make all the little mini bottles your dollhouse could need. They could be potion bottles, wine bottles, olive oil bottles, or whatever your dolls need a bottle for. Join me and see how easy this project is. Alright, so today's Trash to Treasure project, this is one I've actually been meaning to do ever since I started doing the Trash to Treasure Thursday videos, and I always remembered it in about February. I would think all year, oh, I'm going to do that when Christmas, when they start putting the Christmas stuff out, and then I'd get busy in the fall, and I'd forget, and then about January, February, I'd think, oh, crap, I should have done those bottles. So when I ran to the grocery store this morning, I noticed that they have out Christmas lights. So, I actually even saved a string of Christmas lights last year that wouldn't light for whatever reason. So I have a whole bunch of these lights. Now you get the lights off the tr off the light string, or you can go buy it. I mean, the refill, but the um, replacement bulbs are cheap if you don't have this kind of light, so you can go buy those. They're not very expensive. We don't need this little sleeve part that allows us to hook them onto the Christmas lights. We need this part. This will make a blue one. Let's see. Make a green one this time. Because my little thing I've got started over there already has one blue one. So we've got these bulbs. Now we have these wires. We don't need the wires. Now obviously this is not a project for kids that play with their dollhouse stuff. This is for those scenes that are set up that you know, it's going to be glued down on something and it's not a toy because these are glass. So be careful. I just pulled the wires out and I'll do that again. I'll show you. They pull out. Sometimes they pull out really easy. That one left a little bit. It leaves a little bit. Let's take an emery board and it bends it over and gets it pushed up. Um, it really doesn't matter. That's going to be covered up when you by gluing it down. Now if you want to, you can dip the top into some paint. You could put a drip of paint up on the top to make a different color. I'm going to show you an, one way to do a label. Now, I've already done two bottles here. Actually I'm not going to label this one because it would have to then we'd have to wait for it to dry. The little red one is just a piece of printer paper. This blue one is just a little rectangle of this origami paper. I do like origami paper for mini labels because it's usually kind of cool designs and it's really thin so it glues on well. To glue on your label, on the blue one I used this, my aqua glue, I love this stuff. It was a little hard to get it to stay on. The red one I used this Tombow um, liquid, multi-liquid glue. Liquid glue. The only problem is any of this that seeps out is going to leave a sticky spot. So I, unless you're really careful, don't use that. So we've got our little bottle. Pretend we've put a label on it. Now on these labels, you could draw labels. You could make them for any theme you want to be. This could be a wine bottle. It could be a potion bottle. It could be an olive oil bottle. If they're going to lay down in a wine rack, you won't even have to glue them down. They can be any kind of bottle that you want them to be. I've had the best luck with, this is a, one of the Goop products, this is Kraft. These Goop products, they smell really bad. And like I've said before, I always buy them in the little sample pack so that I have lots of little bottles because tubes, I never go through a whole tube before it goes bad. These are a one-part epoxy, so they work really well in putting things that don't want to stick together together. Um, 
this one is just about used up and just about dried out. So I think I've got enough for a little tiny ball of glue there. And I think, I didn't try it, but I think you could use your hot glue gun for this too. And just stick it down on whatever surface you've got. And it's there. So we have a little tray. That one's crooked. You, yeah, my glue is not. You will need to glue them. It should sit for a little bit, but you can see it's a little bottle. Just in time for Halloween potion bottles, Christmas wine bottles. Whoops, yeah, I should have let that sit. All that good stuff. So, go rescue some uh, non-functioning Christmas lights or go buy a set of replacement bulbs and make some bottles for your dollhouse. Have fun with your minis. Find us on Facebook, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.